Hey, you ever wonder how your favorite celebrity athlete, their body looks amazing and in peak shape for that photo shoot or that red carpet appearance? Guess what? I know all their tricks and trades and I'm here to bring them to you. So I'm here today. Hello, my name is Leah Sergakis. I've been a nutritionist and trainer for a very long time. Uh, my journey started out in the NBA, uh, working with players from like the Jazz, the Grizzlies, the Nuggets, and then now I work in Hollywood and I work with a lot of people that we all may know um, from names like Wiz Khalifa, Chris Pratt, um, Tori Kelly, different execs, celebrities, whatnot. And my job is to make sure they look and feel the best like on big days, right? So I'm here because I know you probably have a big day coming up and I'm hoping to give you four really good tips on you just being able to be so happy and confident on your body on that day. So like, let's get on into it. The first thing that I do wanna say is that I'm not a doctor. So please consult with your healthcare provider on any sort of nutritional exercise program that you begin making sure that it's good for your body. And now I have the four tips for you. Tip number one is about water and sodium depletion. You may have heard uh, from like bodybuilding, it's a very old school trick where people load up sodium and water within their bodies to get their body to actually retain the water and then closer to the event, you get your body to deplete and make sure that you're not retaining any water, which makes you look tighter, makes your skin tighter, makes, makes the world go around. So okay, it sounds crazy, but let's talk about what that would actually look like. So we would start it a week before your event or your photo shoot or whatever it is that you have to do, and you would start with 2,500 milligrams of sodium and two gallons of water. Every day after that leading up to your event, you would reduce it by 500 milligrams and half a gallon. Basically, when you do the math, by the time you get to the day of your show or whatnot, you're having pretty much no water and no sodium. And the nice part about that process is your body, first of all, starts retaining the water, and then by the end of the day, or by the end of the last day, you're looking lean, tight, and ready to go. So follow that process. If you have questions on it, comment it below, um, and then, you wanna also pair that with going to the sauna. I would recommend at least doing the sauna like 30 minutes a day for that entire week. Um, and if you're feeling even a little bit more wild, the last couple of days you can stay in there longer. But honestly, 30 minutes a day in the sauna with your water and sodium load and depletion, you'll be good. So that's tip number one. If you've watched the videos that I've done on ancient nutrition so far, I love intermittent fasting. I think it's the way that we all need to be eating. So I'm gonna tell you right now, tip number two is about intermittent fasting. I like, there's different schedules, but I personally try to follow almost a day fast. So either a 20 hour fast to a 24 hour fast. Um, find ones that work for you, but I think it really helps with tightening you up leading up. Um, and then if I have an event on Saturday, so for example, I just hosted the Golden Globes. Um, I made sure that my fast day was a day of the actual show because I wanted to like, I was wearing a tight dress and I didn't need things, you know, looking wild. So I would recommend that to you. Do a fasting schedule and try to time it on the day that you need to be looking the leanest. If you've been doing an intermittent fast and keto diet leading up, like I've recommended in the past, um, I've had some people complain saying that they feel almost a little bit flat, like their muscles feel flatter on a bigger day that you need to feel full. So adding in some carbohydrates, um, like some sweet potatoes, some yams, some rice cakes that morning of, um, will actually help you feel a little bit like more full within your muscles. Um, and then also since you don't have that water in your body, it, it'll actually even make you look tighter. Tip number three is about strategic sweating. So I touched a little bit on the sauna, but now we can really dive into how to, to sweat and tighten up. Like areas, for example, on your thighs, your stomach, your arms, and wrapping it in saran wrap before you go into the sauna or before or like at night like sleeping helps so much with tightening your skin. And it sounds so crazy and you're gonna smell a little bit like a peppermint, but it really helps with tightening your skin. So again, you can either do it, um, I recommend some people even doing like a week out or two weeks out at night, like if you're sleeping, just wrap yourself up in some areas. And then if you need that extra help in the sauna. Now let's talk about your actual workouts the week before and the week of your event. So if you're following a lifting schedule and a cardio schedule, that's already great, right? Now the week of, I really think that you should try to hit cardio morning and night. Again, like we're not doing this for long periods of time. So I don't, I'm not ever telling someone to overtrain or overwork something. But 
if we're trying to reduce the water and really trying to pull everything in, hitting cardio in the morning and hitting cardio at night is not a bad idea. Um, just really being able to get your body to sweat at certain parts during the day. Lifting weights during this time is very crucial because you're, again, you're filling in, you're filling your muscles up, especially the night before and the day of. So one thing that I like to say, and I never, spot reduction is not a thing, okay? But if I, for example, when I was hosting the Globes, like my arms were out. So the day of, I went and hit an upper body. I did like a, a bicep workout and I did some shoulders and I made sure like, okay, these are the muscles that are gonna be showing. Hopefully they show up, right? But those are the ones that I wanna work. Um, again, if I was wearing a shorter dress, I would probably make sure I hit calves that day to make sure my calves are looking good or I'm making sure. So kind of think about like what you're wearing. If, you're, if it's super tight, let's hit some abs. So you can kind of tailor your um, workout to what you're going to be wearing and it's helpful with everything else that we're doing. It's just, we're just adding more to the pie here. If you've never done like a Bikram yoga or a hot Pilates, introducing that two weeks out also really helps your body get used to start um, letting go of water retention, and which is the goal here. Um, especially helps like with your mental focus. If it's a big day, being able to go in there and do a little bit of yoga before helps being able to focus on days that actually matter. Okay, so tip number four is banish bloating altogether, which obviously everything we've talked about to this point is to make sure we're not bloated, like that's the point, right? But coming down to your actual food, um, obviously the week of, but the couple days before is everything on how you're gonna look the day of. So I would say the day before and the day of to remove anything that's processed, which you shouldn't be really eating processed foods anyways, but I'll preach about that later. Um, nothing carbonated. Eat as close as you can to the source. So eating your vegetables, following the ketogenic diet is very good because when you're higher in fat, you're not having foods that are going to retain water anyways. Like it's very minimal. So again, following the moderate protein, um, low carb, high fat is the way to go. Um, and then obviously morning of, if you introduce some carbs, that's okay. Supplementation is also a major key component in making sure you look your best. Um, I've always talked about, you know, making sure people have, you know, daily multi, omegas, um, cow mags, supplementing with protein powder on a regular basis, right? But when it really comes down to leaning out, there are two little guys that I really recommend, and one is a probiotic and the other is a digestive enzyme, okay? Now, probiotics, they take care of your gut, because, but you're not gonna have a gut, really, because you're gonna be looking lean. But theoretically, they make sure that you basically process and break down everything in a good form. So you're basically able to pass through everything so that way you're not holding on to it. It just, it helps aid in your digestive um, process. And so I notice a big game changer, especially if I'm ever traveling or I have events, like I promise you, like I throw my probiotics in everywhere. So I recommend a probiotic. And then a digestive enzyme it is amazing because it helps break down undigested foods and those stuck in your gut are what causes bloating inflammation just not feeling your greatest so make sure if anything try to pair those that's my recommendation that's what I do and I notice a really significant difference again I'm so happy to be able to give this video for you I'm excited to see what you guys look like on the day of um, comment below I know this is a lot of information let me know if there's anything that you'd want any clarification on or any future videos that you'd like to see. I'm very excited to be talking to you guys and just kind of help debunking and adding to your lifestyle and your lifestyle choices. Again, I'm Leah Sergakis and we'll be in touch soon.